Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Microsoft Visual Studio, the IDE on Microsoft Windows 10. However, Visual Studio IDE is available for Mac and Linux users as well. So it's a cross-platform IDE. The community edition is completely free for anybody on the planet. So here we are. So to get this IDE, the Visual Studio IDE, you simply visit this website, go ahead and launch your preferred browser and go to visualstudio.microsoft.com and you can see you've got a lot of things available for you. You can go ahead and install Visual Studio the IDE and Visual Studio code as well which is completely free. Visual Studio Community Edition is also completely free. So now once you are on this website go ahead and click on download and here you see you've got Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition Professional and Enterprise Edition as well. This is completely free forever and this is open source so you don't have to pay for this community edition. This is professional and this is paid one. However, if you want to try, the trial is available for both paid editions, professional and enterprise. So let's go ahead and download this community edition. So go ahead and click here, free download and this is going to start the download start developing with visual studio thank you for downloading here we are visual studio and i'm going to save it on desktop just save it wherever you wish to and i'm going to say save and this is basically online installer web installer so this didn't take much time so go ahead and locate it since it's on my desktop i'll quickly go ahead and locate it so no matter where it is in downloads or on desktop go ahead and locate it and simply double click on it you need to have administrator privileges to install any software on microsoft windows so make sure you have it now once you double click on it you will get user account control say yes and now this is going to start everything visual studio code before you get started we need to set up a few things so that you can configure your own installation so go ahead and hit continue now this is going to configure the the dotnet framework and a lot of other things as well so this is going to take some time once it's done i'll be right back okay so you can see everything is downloaded installed almost done getting everything ready so let's see now you'll get a window and a lot of options so here we are so this is basically visual studio installer and you got so many languages to you know, start with so what i will do the only thing works the best is the asp.net and web development on visual studio otherwise if you're not familiar with visual studio how it works uh you will have to you know do your research before you start using like Python development, Node JS development, and uh, so anything third party is not well supported. Doesn't come pre-configured. Doesn't come like pre-configured and inbuilt support with. So once you've selected your uh, languages of ch language of choice or the framework that you want to work with. You simply go ahead and hit you can also build cross-platform application using dotnet core and asp.net you can go with this one as well 
and this is going to take you see 7.8 GB you can simply once you selected it go ahead and hit install now this is going to say okay thank you for installing Visual Studio if you want to take survey uh, you can say yes or not completely your opinion now this is going to take some time I've also selected start after installation so once it's done I'll be right back all right people so I'm back you can see the download is complete it's downloaded 100% of the packages that I wanted to download depending on the number of packages you're going to in download will take shorter and longer time and once the download is complete you can see it here it's going to install all those packages on your system so on my system it's installing it's going to install like 386 packages and it has already installed 253 so once it's done I'll be right back and back you can see the installation is complete it's just trying to finish up and it's just trying to basically set up everything for this Visual Studio IDE so that we can start the development so here we go it's just gonna take its time depending on the number of packages you have on your IDE you can see it's just trying to launch it and now this is Visual Studio code I can go ahead and create a new project open local folder project or solution so let's go ahead and create a new project or continue without the application so this one the, these were the application I tested before I think last previous month or the previous month so you can go ahead and click here create a new project and here you can choose what exactly what sort of project you want to create you can pick a language from here platform so I can go ahead and pick C sharp like that it's taking a bit slower on my system here we go now you have selected console SP you can go ahead and web start with the web application which is going to be MVC framework based application for the web so let's go ahead and here yeah, and these are the uh, options you have go ahead and select one you can also install blazor application blazor app basically this is going to be web assembly application which is going to be in trend very soon so let's go ahead and create this esp.net web application go ahead and select it and hit next just name it I'm going to say it hello world and then say create now discovering templates empty web application here we go you can do so many things you can look at that so you can see it it's already coming up with this angular and react um packages as well is going to use asp.net 3.1 which is the latest release now let's go ahead and create it so now this is going to create hello world you can see it yourself so and here we are this is your hello world application directory and I can go ahead and close it this and we have got pages index.cshtml you can just open by clicking on these files and folders I'm going to close this one installer
here we are so this is index this is cs c sharp oh here we go now you can go ahead and quickly run this application so i'm going to click here you've got options so go ahead and click it and this is going to start the application you can see here it's just trying to build started the build for hello world and it's going to open it in it's uh, the default folder on our system debug any cpu configuration something is happening here you can look at that the dll files created and here we are so this is going to open the default browser it's taking a bit longer here so it's pre-configured with HTTPS if you remember we installed during the installation it was just somewhere on the installer that is going to oh during the creation process the app creation process this was already checked so you can see this is how basically you install visual studio visual studio ide and create mbc asp.net mbc framework application as well so that's it for this video if you have any questions suggestion please leave in the comment below i will try to answer it asap Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.